it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I was in Sainsbury's recently picking up some of their new craft beers and I come across a, a celebration ale, a celebration ale of the King's Coronation. And it's called Coronation Ale. It's a 500 milliliter bottle. And I've just been reading the label. It's 7% ABV. It cost me £2.50. But what's interesting about this, and I find this slightly fascinating. Sorry for my beer nerdiness here, but I've been drinking Badger Ales for, well, actually, the England's own was the first ever beer review that I ever did from Badger Brewery. Bought the beer in Tesco. It was £1 all the way back in 2010. It was about 4% ABV, light ale, and, and that's what kind of Badger specialised in. They still specialise in kind of light, hoppy ales. But this one's 7% ABV. You can see here on the back it says Blanford in Dorset. Now there's only one brewery in Blanford in Dorset that can produce this beer for the whole of Sainsbury's, and that's Badger. They're the only brewery big enough. So it has to be Badger Brewery, Badger Ales. There's the bottle cap, £2.50 uh, with British Sovereign and Endeavour hops. I can talk a little bit about Badger um, later on in the review, but first and foremost, let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Oh, look at this. Lovely bit of smoke on the bottle opening, beer in the glass. So the reason why I'm excited is because I've always wondered what a strong ale from Badger would taste like. I know underneath, I know that there's a good brewery there, you know? I know that when I first tried their beers in 2006, four years before I even started reviewing beer, I remember buying their beer and thinking, oh, this is really different. I didn't know didn't have a clue about beer back in 2006, mind you. I just liked the look of the bottles, bought them, enjoyed them. Fantastic. So we got a one finger, slightly off white head on this one. It's a dark mahogany colored beer. Small amounts of carbonation rolling up the side of the glass. And it's pretty clear. It's not a bottle conditioned beer. Let's get the aroma. Yeah, now then. Now then, now then. This smells pretty fantastic. Malty, biscuity. Nutty, bready. It's almost got a barrel aged aroma to it. It's almost got a bit of oakiness to it. A little bit of licorice. Smells wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Great head retention. Uh, let's dive into this one then. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows, what a beer this is. First of all, you're greeted, as you put a mouthful of beer in your mouth, you're greeted by this kind of little kind of tickle of carbonation that starts to push the beer around the inside of the mouth, brings the beer alive in your mouth. It's got a fantastic, creamy, rich mouthfeel. 
there's a little tickle of that 7% ABV alcohol. You can just slightly feel it in the mouth, in the throat. There's a bit of warming in the throat, into the pit of the stomach. You can feel the, the beer sliding down into the pit of the stomach, that kind of warming sensation you get. It's got a really lovely kind of licorice malty, nutty, bready, biscuity kind of malty mouthfeel to this. It's hoppy on the back end. It's got a lovely bitterness to the back end. Now, I can imagine, I can imagine Prince Charles being involved in this beer. I've not read the back of the label completely, but I can imagine him being involved in this beer. The reason being... I know he likes his ale. I say Prince Charles, it's not Prince Charles anymore. I've been calling him Prince Charles for, what, 42 years of his life. So excuse me, King Charles. King Charles, I should say. That's what this Coronation Ale is. And maybe I should have explained that. So this Coronation Ale is the King's Coronation. Um, the passing of Queen Elizabeth naturally uh, made Prince Charles King Charles. Let's, let's get that bit out of the way just in case. But I know that... He's opened breweries. You, you, if you Google pictures of King Charles, um, you will always see kind of pictures of him kind of standing behind a bar, um, enjoying an ale. It's always an ale like this, or um, he's opening a brewery. I know he opened the Brains Brewery in Cardiff, Wales, about four or five years ago when that opened. Um, I think they call it uh, the Prince of Wales Brewery, actually. So I think that's the reason why they opened I think it was King Charles, or, or it might have been um, it might have been William that opened that one. I'm not sure, but anyway, this pictures of Charles, King Charles, with a pint of ale like this, dark, rich, coloured ale, always in his hand. Not always, but there's pictures online of him drinking ales. Like you won't see him holding a pint of lager, you know, a pint of Carlin or Foster's, that sort of thing. So I wouldn't be surprised at all if he enjoys a pint of this, if he buys a pint of this and he enjoys a pint of this. It, it, it's absolutely terrific. The other thing I wanted to touch on very briefly was I talked earlier on about Badger being a brewery of light ales, light ABV beers. There was an occasion once, there was an occasion once where I drank a 10% ABV Badger beer um, I was at an awards dinner, um, probably something like 2013, a long time ago, and Badger brewed this beer especially for this awards dinner, and it was 10% ABV, and I believe it was a sour beer that they aged for two years. So, you know, they can do this sort of thing. Badger can do this sort of thing when they want to. So I was really interested and intrigued to try this 7% ABV beer from Badger and it's really not let me down. It's not let me down. It's exactly what I was expecting. And it's exactly what I was hoping for. Exactly what I was hoping for. In the past, Badger have put their beers in clear glass bottles. The hops have kind of skunked the beer and, and, and it's not been fantastic. They made in the past better beer. I think they've reversed all of that now. I think all of their beers are back in brown bottles, which is a, thankfully a good thing. Yeah, so this beer, this is my receipt. It cost me £2.50. Um, is there anything on the back? Uh, an extra special, uh, an English extra special ale fit for a king. Brewed in the heart of Dorset, this easy drinking ale is brewed using only the finest ingredients, crystal and chocolate malts for a toasted biscuit taste and the British noble sovereign and endeavour hops. It is well balanced, deep, rich and is best served lightly chilled. Yeah, I mean, fantastic. 2023. One of those beers, I wish I picked up two and put a bottle up there um, on, the, on the shelf, up, up, up on my kind of beer shelf that Kind of rare, it's like a rare beer shelf. I think this type of thing deserves to be up there. So I'm going to rate this. Um, Sainsbury's Taste the Difference. 
it's it's pretty fantastic isn't it look at it look at the look at the beer I'm, like a, I'm rolling around in the glass there it's recreated that head it's got fantastic body fantastic lacing it's dark it's lovely it's yeah terrific english strong ale which i love i love an english strong ale cheers everyone let's rate it A well-brewed beer from Badger. Looks fantastic in the glass. Smells fantastic. Tastes terrific with all those lovely, rich, licorice chocolatey, biscuity, bready, hoppy, bitter, slightly alcohol warm, and as the beer slides down into the pit of the stomach. It's just a wonderful beer. It's a wonderful beer. It's a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. I'm really pleased with that beer. I would love to see... Badger, get into this kind of more kind of stronger quality beer brewing and maybe just add a little bit more like this is £2.50 a bottle. I, I would pay £2.50 a bottle. I'd have one bottle of that a week. One bottle of that a week if they brewed that all of the time. Terrific beer, 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 for me, a little craft beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.